Hello, this is Mrs. Boyd, and I'm going to show you how to have Google Sheets help you determine if your data is accurate and precise. So we will begin with a calculation for percent error. Go ahead and cl double click on that first cell. Always put an equal sign to tell it to do a calculation for you. For percent error, we're going to begin by taking the absolute value of the actual you know, known density for your metal minus the average that you got from your lab. So we're going to go ahead and put the letters ABS. Then we're going to start a parentheses and we're going to take actual first. So in this case, it's 6.68. Notice that's in my G2 box. And I'm going to subtract the average, which I calculated to be 6.22, blah, 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 all those extra numbers, which actually, um, should be rounded because it does it definitely has way too many numbers in it. Um, we're going to use that for the time being. Go ahead and click outside of your parentheses. Let's do a forward slash and that is going to be our division sign. And at this point we're going to take the actual density multiplied by 100 to get a percent. And go ahead and click on the check box over there in the right hand corner. And it looks like my percent error is 6.81178228. Let's round that off to 6.8. And what that's telling me is that my data is actually 6.8% off of the actual known value for the density of my metal. It's supposed to be under 5. So I would definitely say that my data is inaccurate and therefore not valid. Let's do the same reasoning for percent relative standard deviation. Again, click on the box, start with an equal sign, and this time we're going to type in the letters STDEV. Let's go ahead and do a parentheses. And this time we're going to highlight all of our trials because, of course, we're curious to see how well our um, trials line up with each other, like how close they are to each other. So we're going to highlight all of our trials data. And again, we're going to close parentheses. Then we're going to get that comma out of there. Let's do a forward slash for division. Average is what we are going to divide by and multiplied by 100 to get a percent. Click on the green check symbol. And it looks like my percent relative standard deviation is 6.7 once I've rounded it. And by golly, once again, not the... Um, number we were looking for. This time, percent relative standard deviation should actually be below 2%. So I can once again conclude that my data points are not that precise, they're not that close together, and therefore my data is not reliable. Okay, your turn. Good luck.